Sing ciao, everybody. Welcome back. You're watching Vietnam Steve, and I've got a good one for you today. So one of the things people ask me is, what's the denominations I need when I go and change my hard-earned cash and come to Vietnam for a holiday? What are the denominations you're going to ask for from the money changer? Now, for me, I just take what's what comes out of the ATM, but it is interesting the denominations that you get, and I'm going to run through them all for you here today. Uh, it might take some time because I don't have every denomination in my pocket, but I'll tell you uh, what they are, what they're good for, and when you should carry them. So, um, <clears throat> the first one I want to talk to you about is the 50,000 dong. So 50,000 dong is about uh, $2.50, and it's a very useful uh, note to have. So if you can have a couple of 50,000 dongs, uh, that's good because that will buy you lunch, that will buy you uh, a coffee. Now my coffee was 45,000 dong, and so I got something that's uh, not good for much, the, uh, the 5,000 dong uh, in change. Now the 5,000 dong, um, is quite good because sometimes when you park your car or park your motorbike, they want uh, ten or twenty thousand to, uh, to park, which is a dollar. And so sometimes you can give them two of these and get away with it. So Five thousand dong is like having uh, uh, pennies in your uh, wallet. I'm not going to do the exchange rate, what these are worth, but suffice to say, the 1,000 dollars is about 4 cents, so it's uh, not much. That's the change you get, that's going to stay in my pocket until I need to spend it exactly. This is the one I've just uh, just spent now, $50,000 for a coffee, and I'll show you some more as we go through the day. Thought I'd pull up in the shade and talk, you a, 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 talk to you a little bit about the next two denominations. Uh, that cafe was quite quite loud. I had uh, a bit of background noise happening there. I think I've got it organised now. Uh, I've got the next two notes here for me. Uh, this next one is uh, 100,000 dong. The 100,000 dong is a really handy note because uh, if you're a, a, a young boy like me uh, in Vietnam, you can actually go on a date with 100,000. So I went out last night with a beautiful lady and um, we ordered uh, two bowls of oyster congee and the total cost for uh, operation dinner out was uh, 100,000 dong. So 100,000 uh, is a very useful uh, denomination to have and um, everybody will take 100,000. They'll give you the change in 50s and 10s and, uh, and, tens. and um, I do mistake the uh, the hundred thousand dong for the the ten thousand dong, so I, I do have some colour blindness happening uh, for Vietnam Steve here. But I just love the hundred thousand dong because I can do anything with that. Uh, you know, fifty thousand gets me a coffee or lunch. This hundred thousand dong will get me a taxi from one side of town to the other, sort of uh, fifteen minutes in a taxi. 80, 90, 100, 110 thousand dong. So uh, the 100,000 dong is a good one to have if you're out and about around the streets. The other good one to have if you're a, a big spending uh, tourist coming to Vietnam is the uh, 200,000 dong. So the 200,000 dong surprisingly is double the 100,000 dong. And the 200,000 dong uh, is, is a big note. So uh, if you had three of them in your pocket, you'd be right for three or four days. Uh, I haven't just got a 500,000 dong. Uh, in my pocket, I'm going to go and have to ask my wife for one of those because that's high finance. Five hundred thousand's the uh, the biggest one you get. Uh, that's about twenty bucks US. And if you've got a five hundred thousand, people think, "Oh, rich boy." So uh, five hundred thousand's the biggest one that comes out of your um, uh, ATM machine. And uh, so if you get five million out, you'll probably get eight five hundred thousands, and then the rest in two hundreds, one hundreds, and 50s um, but yeah 500,000 people can usually change that not if you're buying a, a 20,000 dong trinklet and you've given them 500,000 that's not going to happen but if you went to lunch and spent 200,000 dong three or four people uh, you could give them 500 and they'd have change for sure so uh, there's no problems with any of the denominations I will show you the 500,000 dong when I get my hands on one but that's uh, that's a whole $20 US so that's probably not something that's in my pocket 
and then we'll wrap this one up. Hope that's helped you with the uh, denominations coming out of the ATM here in Vietnam. All right, boys, I've got a few more denominations in front of me here. Uh, I've got a special one, which is, uh, well, first of all, uh, you saw the 5,000 uh, dong. We also have, when you get your change here, uh, you might get something like a 2,000, which is about eight cents. Uh, it's a little white one and uh, get quite a few of those. Uh, sometimes they give you uh, five of those instead of a 10 just to get rid of them. Uh, the other one that uh, you do see a little bit, but is good for nothing, is the uh, 1,000. These don't come out of the ATM, but you'll be getting these as change when you buy things. So the 1,000 is a white one, uh, which looks just like the, the 2,000. However, of course, the 1,000 has 1,000 written on it, and the 2,000 has 2,000 written on it. So ones and twos are quite popular. I get a lot of those in my pop pocket because they're, uh, they're good for a laugh. Um, you've seen the five, you've seen the 10. Uh, no, you've seen the five, you've seen the 50. Uh, there is a 10, the 10 is similar to the five. It's not a blue one, it's uh, this color here, which is a greeny, tanny color. The 10 is good for parking, like two of the fives would be good for parking. A 10 is good for parking. Uh, and sometimes if things are, you know, 60,000 dong, you give them a, a 50 and a 10 and you're there, but a 10 is not worth, uh, worth much at all. Um, I've got a really uh, unique rare one coming up at the end, but you might notice that I'm, uh, I'm back at home here now and I've been to uh, the wife and of course she just reaches into her pocket and pulls out the mother load. So if you pull out one of these, uh, people are gonna think, oh, this person's got a bit of coin. This is a 500. It's about uh, 20 bucks US. And that's the biggest one you're gonna get out of the ATM. So while you might get a big pile of money, if you got uh, 20 of these, you'd have uh, 10 million. And if you had 10 million, you'd probably have uh, 400 bucks US. So you pull out the biggest, the biggest ATM that I go to gives me 5 million in one hit. So it gets 200 US and I get uh, a few of these, a couple of 200s, a hundred and a 50, uh, the way we go. So the 500 is the one that, uh, if you had that in your pocket, that would get you around uh, a big city all day, any day. Uh, this one would take the family to lunch and then out to an ice cream shop afterwards. Uh, lunch is gonna cost about, uh, 200 uh, if we have four people living it up and then um, we go and spend uh, 150 at an ice cream shop so 350 you'd have change here to get a taxi back to the movies so that's the one you're going to get and uh, everybody can change one of those probably not a street vendor but if you went into somebody's shop uh, cash is king in vietnam and everybody's going to have change for a 500 now um, my wife went into the safe and she's pulled out some uh special money, this is a 500 dong. So it's half of a thousand. I couldn't tell you what it's worth, but let's say it's about one cent. Um, these are not really in circulation. Nobody gives you one of those. If you needed 500 dong back as change, you'd say keep the change. Um, I'm sure you can afford one cent uh, donation. The only time things ever end up in, uh, you know, 137,500 uh, for the uh, bill, is when you're at the, the, the supermarket and they ring everything up and all of a sudden it's come to a 500 at the end. Now they're not gonna give you 500 back. They usually just round up the change and give you uh, 1,000 back. So I don't see them in circulation, but for some reason my wife has them in the safe. Uh, I've spoken about 100s and 200s. She's just delivered them to me. The only one you haven't seen here today, I think is the uh, the 20, if there is such a thing, uh, I can't recall now, but I'm gonna close off here because that's the money situation. So hit the ATM, put your card in, hit the biggest denomination that's on the auto select screen. For me, it's 5 million. I get 4 million in 500s and I get the rest of it in 200s, 100s and 50s. And any street vendor can change that. There's no problem with denominations. Now, surprisingly, 60% of you haven't subscribed to the channel. So if you thought this was a useful VART, please smash that, whoa, smash that subscribe button because that's the only way I know you get access to the latest entertainment. You've been watching Vietnam, Steve. 
Hope you have a great day. Hope the denominations help you when you get to Vietnam and I'll see you in the next one. Just a final wrap up here, trendsetters. I did find a use for the uh, 500 dong. Uh, I bought a coffee here. I don't know if you can see that. I've got uh, three drinks there that came to 140 something. But because I'm a local, they gave me a 20% discount, which brought it down to uh, 137,500. And so uh, that was problematic for them. Uh, in the end, uh, she gave me, um, it actually came down to 143,200. Uh, in the end, she gave me 60,000 change because she didn't have the 500s that I was mentioning before. And of course, uh, that means I've picked up those three drinks for uh, 140,000. That's about six bucks. So we had a coffee, we had a peach tea, and we had a coconut and avocado drink. Hope that puts it all into perspective for you.